So first thing we'll start with is installing the controls. You need to run a cable all the way from the control cavity up to the top where there's another control cavity. There's actually a hole routed down through there so we can run the cable through um, and I'll be showing you that now. So inside the back of the control cavity we have the four spaces for the potentiometers and two gaps. We're going to be running these three cables um, through the back cap here. We'll twist the end just so they don't catch on the way in. And we'll push that through and that actually leads in through that little um, routed cavity channel under the top. And I've bunched the cables up so you can see them here, but they've ran all the way through that routed cavity and with the last final push, they'll come out through the end. So just push the cable through and it'll come out at the end here, which is where we'll wire the switch on in the next part of the video. Yeah, just pull the cables out because you know, we'll need to wire those on. And here we are at the switch, so the first bit of soldering. We've tinned the ends, a little bit of solder on the ends, so the first one to go on, all the bare wires go on the back lug there. It's the earth lug. It's nicely stuck. It's dry. So the black one is actually going to be going in the middle. Um, so we'll put the black one on. This one goes to the jack. And then put the pickup either side. So that's the blue cable. Next the pickup to the switch. And then the red cable. Last lug in. Yep, that's simple. That's the switch completed. Ready to move on. Quick shot here so you can see what the switch looks like when it's completed. And then we'll move on to the electronics. So this is the other end of the black cable that's coming from the middle lug of the switch. We're going to put that out of the side here, which is where the jack is. And the next step is we'll be soldering the jack on. We're now ready to solder the jack on. So first we'll be soldering the white cable on to the outside lug and the earth bare cable on the inside lug. I've actually pre the cables here and I've put a little bit of solder on the lug of the jack just to make it easier. But once that's connected, we can go and put the green earth cable in. So now that's done, we're going to thread the green cable through the hole that leads to the bridge pin. You may have to drill this bridge pin yourself, but it's a simple process. There we go, it's out the end here. So now we'll be installing the pickups. So we take the pickup, take the cable, and thread the cable through the cavity hole into the control pin. for the next pickup, just following that initial cavity, and then push that through, it travels down there, out through the hole, and then once these are in place, we can wire the electronics in. Final step, we'll take the potentiometers and we'll be wiring those pickup cables onto there. So we'll take the neck pickup or the bridge pickup, in this case it's the bridge, solder the white cable to the middle, and then solder the bare cable to the back of the potentiometer. Perfect. Cables have been pre-tinned, so that means they 
possibly putting a little bit of solder on the end of the cable. So it helps it adhere to other solder. And then we'll repeat that with the blue pickup cable. The volume pots or potentiometers, they don't have the green capacitors on the back. The green capacitor means that this uh, tone. And you don't want to solder your pickups onto your tone controls. Only on the volume controls, which are the ones without the capacitor, the green capacitor. But the blue one is the same, middle, lug, and then solder onto the back. And find a nice place where it's going to stick and not be in contact with any of the other lugs or wires, bare exposed wires, which might, might cause a short. And then once this is soldered on, install the potentiometers and play away. <laughs> 